Is it still morning? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, my name is Veronica Mengaza, and I am a transient of Hinesville, Georgia. Originally, I'm from Minnesota. I came to Hinesville via my ex-husband, who was in the military. We went through a really rough divorce, and I was left with three kids. I didn't have a car. I had the house we lived in because he left me there, but I didn't have a job to pay for anything. So I got a job at Applebee's, and I was waitressing. And when you go through something like that and that's so big, you start questioning yourself. How can I function? How am I going to feed my kids? I have these three kids crying because we have barely to nothing in the house. And I was driving to work, and I'm like, am I going to make $20 a day or 30 Because that was the tips, because you get paid $2 an hour plus tips. So I was just thinking, I'm like, okay, I'm driving to work. What's going to happen to me today? Are we going to make money so I can pay my light bill tomorrow? Are we going to make money so I can pay my rent next week? And this commercial came on. And the commercial was like, it was said, we will give you money. If you save $2,000, we will give you a matching set of $2,000 plus two more thousand from the city of Hinesville if you join this program. And I'm like, whatever, what a crap. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to give you money? And then especially on the radio. <laughs> not, not AM. It was FM radio. So it was for everybody. And I was like, whoa, whoa. They're giving out money for what? Like, what do you have to do? And I'm driving with one hand, and I got the leg on the other wheel. And I'm finding paper in my car. But you know, I was in college, so you know, I have paper. My library in my office is the front seat of the car. So I have paper and pen. I grab the paper and the pen, and I'm writing. The numbers are crooked. And by the time I got to Applebee's at the front door, it was 4 o'clock. Um, my name is Veronica, and I, I heard your commercial on the radio, and it said that you guys would give out money if I save $2,000. <laughs> I just want to know how you guys work this program. And the man on the other side, he was like, oh, let me get your information. What's your address? What's your name? And I'm like, okay, how does the program work? You want my information, but I want to know how you're going to give me this money that I want. You know, I need the money. And he explained the program to me. He said, well, this is um, it's called AFI, IFI, or IDA program. Basically, we teach you how to save money, and we teach you how to invest in that money. And when you learn how to save that money, we are going to give you our money because you did that. And I was like, so what's the catch? <laughs> well, you can use that money to buy a house, or you can go to school with it. No, what's the catch? Ma'am, you can use that money to buy a house, <laughs> or you can use that money to go to school. So now remember, I'm just recently divorced. I barely have a car because the car I'm driving is overheating and I'm stopping on the side of the road walking instead of waiting for the car to cool off and then drive off. I walk before the car cools off. So I'm like just everywhere. And I said, so how do I get this money? Well, we have our first meeting tomorrow. Can you make it where? At the city hall in Hinesville, right next to the police department. I was like, I'll be right there. So I called my girlfriend who was in the class. I was in the LPM program at the time and I was pregnant. <laughs> about to give birth. I call my friend, like, Lashira, guess what? There's a program in the city of Hinesville. It's tomorrow. I just want you to come with me because I don't want to be the only person in there looking stupid when they say, you're pranked. So she comes with me. We join the program. <laughs> we start going to the meetings. Um, and like, she, like Ms. Daisy Jones said, that they worked with us on the weekends. If you had work and you had school, they worked with us when we could go to the meetings. They didn't set, set the point on the meetings for 3 o'clock in the afternoon when everybody's at school or at work. We went to the evenings. I've gone through the back door of a bank to go have a meeting. And I was like, whoa, we're going through the back door of a bank. It's 7 o'clock at night, and we're going to a meeting. Me and my baby carriage, he's brand new. We're walking in there. Had credit report training. We had JC Vision meetings where you go to JC Vision as a person, and they will work through your credit. They will pull it up for you, and they'll explain to you, this is what's going on with you, and this is what you can fix. And I was like, that's all? And I was just flabbergasted because this is a commercial on the radio, and it's telling everybody they can join. But I'm looking around me, there's six people in there. And then the next week, there was more people. And the next week, there was more people. And then it was a point where it was only four people in the, in the meetings. And I'm like, do they get the prank earlier than I did? <laughs> or what's going on? So I stuck through. I saved the money. Just like Ms. Hall said, she got her tax money. I got my tax money. I was like, you know, what am I going to do with this tax money? It was $7,000. I took 2000 
That's a big chunk of money for our struggling single mothers. I took $2,000 away. I went up to AFI, I said, you know what? You guys want me to put in $70 a week, but if I hold on to this $2,000, it's gonna be gone before, before the end of the month. So can I just put this in here and just save it in there and let it mature until I decide what I was gonna do? Yes, ma'am, you can do it, but you know, originally the, 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 the program is not set for that. It's teach you how to condition yourself to go to the bank every week to put the money in there. I have a bank account. I don't have a problem with it. The problem is somebody else is taking the money from me for me to live. So let me put this $2,000 in here and just, they allowed me to do that. I went on with the program. With IDA, I was able to provide my dreams for my children to show them that you don't have to stay where you're at when life gets tough because I could have threw in the towel because Hinesville is not my home. I did not know anybody from Hinesville except for my coworkers who turned in to be my second family. And you, you can feel like you're stuck somewhere. You can feel like you can't move forward or you can't do anything. But when you start putting your life in track and you, you put your big, big picture, especially when somebody's telling you, I am gonna give you $2,000, no, $4,000 if you save your own $2,000. You say, okay, how do I do it? I just never questioned myself in the fact of finishing my goals. It's just how was I gonna finish my goal? Is, is there somebody, we, I don't look for a hand, but if you lend your hand to show me the way, I will hold your hand and I'll go with you. And I look at IDA program as the hand that held me through my journey to finish school. And once I finished school on Saturday, when I graduate and I walk with my cap and gown, I am looking forward to be a registered nurse at Candler Hospital for six months. And the reason I'm giving, my, I'm giving myself a six month limit is because January 13th, I will be leaving to go to the Air Force. I'm already set up and signed up and sealed <laughs> with the Air Force. So if somebody tells you, and you see, if you have families out there and you have young ladies, young men who are single and they have children that they don't see the vision in the future, you tell them, hey, you know, life, if somebody shows you a way to take it, take it and push yourself and do more for yourself because we cannot sit down and wait for people to do for us. We have to do for ourselves. And I'm so thankful for IDA program for putting me in this journey. Thank you very much.